Welcome to Console Cocktails. This is cocktail number four. I'm Joe Cabrera. And I'm Kat West. Let's try to take some of the confusion out of parameter calculation on the Grand MA. First, what are we drinking? Vespers. Yeah, but tell them what a Vesper is. <laughs> okay, well, the modern version of what was made popular by Devil of Seven is three measures of Gordon's gin, one of vodka, we prefer 42 below, and half a measure of Lillet Blanc with a twist of lemon. Uh, measure being the British version of what our bartenders would call a jigger, which I believe is slightly smaller in the States. <laughs> exactly, which is where I ran into a problem trying to order this for the first time. I asked for parts instead of measures or ounces, so what I ended up with was pretty small. So you might be wondering, how does this relate to calculating the output of the MA? Well, like Joe's drink, it's all about the specifics of the terminology. The Grand MA makes a distinction between the number of fixture parameters used in the show and the number of DMX channels required to output all the data, and this area might be a little blurry for some people. Moving lights have multiple attributes that require multiple channels, or slots of control. Let's say that we have a fixture that has dimmer, it has pan, it has tilt, and color mixing, cyan, magenta, and yellow. And let's say that both pan and tilt are each 16-bit parameters, which means that pan requires two DMX channels of control, as does tilt, making this unit in total an eight-channel fixture. On a grand MA, each 16-bit channel is calculated as one parameter. Even though pan requires two channels of DMX, it's still a single attribute, pan. So it's considered one parameter of calculation, as is tilt. So our eight channel fixture only requires six parameters of control on the MA. Out of the box, a full size Grand MA can calculate 2048 parameters. Let's compare that to a console that can output 2048 channels. Theoretically, Console X has the channel capacity to patch 256 of our imaginary fixtures, while a Grand MA has the calculation capacity to patch 341. While this isn't a realistic scenario, you can probably start to see why calculation of parameters instead of channels is a bit more efficient. The Grand MA also sees a difference between the number of DMX channels you need to patch and the number of DMX universes available. For example, Let's say that you need to patch 10 of our 8-channel fixtures into a universe to send to a particular hanging position. This, of course, requires only 80 channels in the universe, but you won't be wasting the other 432, as you're free to patch them into any of the other available universes. Right, because it's all about the parameter, not the channel capability. You can spread the parameter calculation over multiple DMX universes, or ArtNet universes, or even ETCNet2, Pathport, Portal, Streaming ACN, or Strand Shownet. And if you need more, you can just start adding NSPs. But that's another video. Thanks for watching. This episode was brought to you by Act Lighting. If you have a console question or a drink recipe, you can drop us a line at www.consolecocktails.com. Or you can find us on Twitter. I'm Hisbegate. She's Console Cat. Or you can leave a comment on the ACT Lighting Facebook page. Cheers. Cheers. Jigga what?